Guys, what's up? I'm Greg. He's Q. Together we're Mr. Happy 0121, and today we're reviewing Arby's. But I don't really count this as Arby's. It's a milkshake. It is the mint chocolate swirl with Andy's chocolates on top. I figured out that calling it Andy's candies sounded stupid, but Andy's chocolates, that's the way to go. So that's what these little rat turd looking things on the top are. Now, here comes that close-up we already filmed that we're going to act like is going to happen right now. And here's the close-up. You get a mint shake with chocolate swirls and pieces of Andy's candy on top. You know, it kind of sounds stupid when you say Andy's candy. So I'll just say pieces of Andy's chocolate on top. Much more professional. Let's get a close-up. Fam. Gang. Guys. Heaps. And there's a shot of the chocolate candy on top. Amazing. So just to torture you a little more because I know you want this milkshake. Where you been? People been asking. People want to know what's up. People are concerned. Been busy. People say you look tired. People want to know why you're not on the channel. What's going on? Been studying. No one seems to understand that you have a life outside of this and occasionally you have to take a break to do like semester test. Yeah, or sleep or... Which is what's going on this week, right? Semester test? Yep. Enjoying that? No, I'm not. So you're taking time out of your semester test studying to drink a milkshake. That's right. That's that's you know, that's pretty crappy. I really feel you should be studying, not drinking milkshakes. What kinda what kind of garbage is that? Oh well. I like your attitude. Drink one. You know a product must be something when the guy on the couch is asking if we've reviewed it. <laughs> That was his text yesterday. Have you tried that new mint chocolate swirl from Arby's? I responded back, why no, I haven't, guy on the couch. Third and final drink. So for those concerned about such things and who isn't, the cost for this milkshake is $2.99 at my local Arby's. Now who knows what it's priced where you are. It seems like in other parts of the world, things are priced differently. Who knew? What grade do you give the mint chocolate swirl milkshake from Arby's? A stern 88. Stern, is it? You know what my favorite milkshake in the whole world is? No, what is it? Mint chocolate chip from Baskin Robbins. That is like the standard bearer. You know this. If I go there, that's what I order. That's the only thing I order from Baskin Robbins. So if that is the gold standard and I give that a 95, I give this a 90. For whatever reason, the price on this is more competitive. Baskin Robbins seems to think their ice cream is made of gold. So, like, the same size milkshake from Baskin Robbins where I'm at would be like six bucks. Holy crap. Yeah. That's yeah. ridiculous. I don't know what, what kind of cows they're milking or what they're doing. Six bucks for a milkshake this big? Yeah. It's not even a Pulp Fiction $5 shake. No. So, yeah, I give this a 90. Uh, the price... While steep for three bucks is competitive with most everybody, and if you go to like an ice cream specialty shop, it's super competitive because, of course, because they're a specialty shop, it costs more. As we film this, you've got three days left until you get like a two and a half week break from school. Not long enough. Got any big plans for that time? No. Any nope. shows you're going to binge watch? No shows. Any books you're going to read? Yeah. What are you going to read? going to read uh, <clears throat> John Barleycorn by Jack London. And I'm going to uh, read Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. Okay. Go try and read both of those over the break. Are you going to read Journey to the Center of the Earth voluntarily, or is this a school thing? Voluntarily. I, I like it. I started reading it, and I like it. Hey, Please man. Start. I'm never going to diminish someone that betters himself through reading, even if it's school-related. That was always my problem in school. I read all the time every day, just nothing that ever applied to anything in school. This is the part before we go where we're really honest with you guys. He's really busy this week, and there's really nothing to review. I mean, come on. We're drinking milkshakes here. I don't know what we're going to review next. I, if I can find something interesting in the freezer aisle, we'll do something Friday. This may be the rare week where we may not do anything till Saturday or Sunday or Monday. I'm just, I'm not going to make a video if it's something we're not at least interested in. And right now, there's just nothing. We'll go the Happy Man Snacks route, put out a video every two weeks. Homeboy just... He's gone into like his shell. He'll just peek out like a turtle once in a while, eat a little food and go back in. That's, Maybe we'll that, go that route. That's what I'm doing over this uh, break. 
Just you're, watching a Happy Man snacks. That's what you're, you're going to binge watch Happy right. Man. He's got to have like 300 videos, right? Well, he would have, but like I said, he's gone on some kind of weird pace where he just makes a video like every 10 days or something. Doesn't matter to me. Maybe he's like Prince. Maybe he's got like, <laughs> he, when he dies, when Happy Man Snacks dies, there's going to be a vault. And it's just going to be full of him reviewing food that no one's seen. And then like, he just wasn't happy with the way it looked. He edited it, added music, had it ready to go. And he looked at it and said, nah, I can do better. Just a vault of Happy Man. Can't wait till that vault comes out. There's no vault of Mr. Happy. As you guys have seen, we'll throw pretty much anything out. So it, it, it's on video. It's out. I don't know what that says about us. There we go. A Happy Man Snacks reference. Don't know when we'll talk about him again. Until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media. It's been so long. You remember we have social media. I do remember. Mr. Happy 0121 on Facebook, Snapchat, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. Look at that. Didn't even practice. Until next time, stay vigilant.